My name is Melissa Prow and I am the shop girl here. I answer the phone and book appointments, basically. I'm a student at St. Cloud State University also. I think that they're pieces of art and that's why I like them. I like to use my body as a canvas, so. I do have one on my leg. That means something to me. It's my cat. I had her for 21 years and she died, so I got a tattoo of her. Um, the rest of them, like the one I'm working on now, is a sleeve of antique appliances, because I really like antiques. Um, on my other arm, I have candy. I'm a big candy fan. Um, and some of them I just got when I was younger, so they were kind of things that I was into at that point, like pirates and skulls and more candy. <laughs> you need to think about it a lot and make sure that you know what you're getting and that you really, really like it because I've made a few choices that I probably wouldn't have made now. I still like them, but I probably would have put a little more thought into some of them. I wouldn't say that I regret getting them. They all kind of mean something to me. Um, they, you know, mark a point in my life, I guess. Some of them I don't think are good quality. I know that now I know what good tattooing is and some of mine are not that good. So I would definitely look into an artist and make sure that they're really good at what they do. Yes, I know that I, everywhere I go, especially if I'm not wearing long sleeves, I get a lot of strange looks. I think people judge you and think you're a bad person if you have tattoos. But uh, that is definitely not the case. I've come to find that most people I meet that are heavily tattooed are the nicest people I've ever met. I'm John Von Glan, and I'm a tattooer at Old Town Tattoo. Where am I? 16 21st Avenue, behind the McDonald's on Division Street. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is tattooing? I would say tattooing is putting ink under the third to fourth layer of the epidermis. What got me interested in tattooing is, first off, well, when I turned 18, I started getting tattooed, and then I started getting more and more, and realized that it would probably be pretty fun to do. And so I just kinda got into it that way. I've been a tattoo artist for about six years now. Um, yeah, I did, uh, I went to college for graphic design and did that for a while and then after that, I, that wasn't really what I was trying to do, you know, so then I started to hit, just getting interested in tattooing. Uh, you gotta be able to draw really good nowadays, like more than just, like, there's not as many flash shops where you can just go tattoo. So now you gotta be able to draw really sick stuff, otherwise you won't make it as a tattooer. And then you gotta get, you gotta get an apprenticeship from someone that has been doing it for a long time already. Half my tattoos have meaning about just like things that, like my beliefs or things that have happened to me in my life. And then the other ones are just straight up goofy art of just any sort that I just, I'll just pick like an idea and have an artist run with it. It's hard for me to pick a favorite tattoo that I've done or seen or anything because there's just so many and they all have their own individual sweetness about them. What kind of clients do I have? I would say all ages really. I'm doing a sleeve on this lady, she's retired, and I'm starting to do a full sleeve on her. And she's like, I don't know, what, like probably 65 years old? Anywhere from, so I'd say anywhere from 18 year old, people that is their birthday today, and then up to, I think the oldest lady I tattooed was like 80 years old once I did a 
I did a rose on her ankle because she just always wanted one. If you want to find out and look at more of my work, you can check out TattooJohn.com.